On second thought, maybe I was taking on a little bit of World 2, but there's no real way to tell, since it's in the same overworld map. Now, those drops, I don't think they actually do anything. Because of how frequently they actually drop, drip. Besides, I could do it this way if I wanted. Although, that's probably going to cost me some time. Here's an awkward jump. Probably one thing that made Luigi's adventure a little bit notorious. Tricky jumps. A little bit of Kaizo inspiration, although there's a little bit of Kaizo in all of us. And a lot of sprites. So, what do we have here now? Advice. I can climb it if I get it with a ladder after having thrown a thing to the top with having had a thing. With having had the English. Yeah. We can get the P-Switch this way, too. By the way, I'm willing to bet this is a decoy. Because... Actually, no, it's not. It might not be. Can't be too sure, though. If I find the goal, I'll know I did it right. This is another part where it gets tricky because of the ceiling. And it's a good thing I scrolled off the screen so that the ghost would actually reappear there. Patiently... good. And goal. I don't think the bonus cha the bonus game has changed though. So I'm not gonna worry about the stars. Saffron Plateau One. Doesn't quite look like a plateau for now. Looks more like a beach. Life's a beach, ain't it? <laughs> so is that Koopa. Then again... So what species of turtles, if any, normally live outside of the water, unless... Once, of course, all of them live inside, or... Well, it can't be all of them that live outside, because there's the sea turtle. And they call it the sea turtle for a reason. And why can't I actually use fireballs to kill that plant? That's mean. <laughs> right. Now, I'm assuming that is just a simple... Volcano Lotus, even though it looks like a chomper. And that one also looks like some kind of chomper, but... It's actually... The thing from Super Mario 3. The white... the white piranha plant. The black ones stay on the ground. The white ones, on the other hand... They actually move around. Way to prevent racism, you know. And sarcasm. Aside. The graphics are usually why Someone would probably play a ROM hack like Luigi, Luigi's Adventure or Super Mario Returns. Challenge is usually excessive, but graphics are good. Now we got a red level, Yogurt Bridge. Yeah. 
think I'll just barely be able to fit World 2 into an entire video. Now, I'm pretty sure the secret exit is going to be hidden. Not sure what those red switch blocks are for, though. And I'm not sure why when a Rainbow Koopa... When a Rainbow Koopa shell is destroyed, the... An empty Koopa... Still stands there. Now... Somewhere, there is bound to be a secret exit. Obviously not there because of the red switch palace. Way to go. Way to go. Truly, way to go. And it's not there either. I distinctly remember having to go down, though. And I do not remember it as a pipe. However, I do think it was a fall to the left. Maybe a jump? Nope. Hmm. See, that's the problem with playing the Overseas Edition. You're not certain where everything's gonna be. Turned out to be that. Where we go left instead of right. Congratulations. Good thing it's to the left, though, because the water gives us an, a bit of an advantage. I mean, trying to swim in that water when going right is nearly impossible in some cases. Okay. Now, don't worry, I don't think there are any Kaizo traps in this hack, so that bridge is definitely not going to break. What do we have here? Brackish Water Lake. With a hint of Kirby. Not to mention the Torpedo Tads, or in this case those bullets from Mega Man 3, make this kind of hard. Can't see a ledge, because it's covered in the water. Okay, let's take this power up here. Dolphins are replaced with these little heart fish from SMB2. Well, at least the vertical ones. Don't know why they wouldn't do this something with the horizontal ones. And how come I wasn't actually able to hit that piranha plant? Any me which I can't step on is usable like footing if I use the spin jump. You may learn it. Like that. It's almost as if they expected new players to, to do this. Which would be rather crazy, because... That was challenging as a bad Nintendo game. Although I'm not willing to call this bad, I'm still gonna say that it has its issues. Same with that Yoshi coin right there. And those blocks. Also, I don't think there's a midpoint in this level either. So you gotta do it all in one go. Insane, ain't it? I'll just go under. For a bit. Actually looks like warfare this time with those torpedoes. Doesn't go well with the Kirby's Adventure World 6 music, though. And I'm not going under there. So where now? Or is this a dead end? Nope, not a dead end. 
it's a switch palace. And still no challenge yet. At least I don't think so. Nope. It's just these coins. A red leaf fire flower, too. You thought the thing with those piranha plants was weird. Take a look at that fire flower. I don't distinctly remember a red switch palace turning green if you apply new graphics to it, though. I seem to remember it turning blue, not green. We have a normal exit to solve. The red switch palace definitely did make this level have some shortcuts to it. Although probably not the entire level. More than half of it, I would say. And still that fireball... Fireball? Hammer! Then just to hit me. Okay. Got lucky there. And goal. <sighs> I can guess that the next level is going to be a red one. Yep, called it. Saffron Plateau 2. This is probably going to be where the Pokeballs are found. If they are supposed to be Pokeballs. They look small enough to represent them. And again, Pokeballs, when they're big... Maybe even when they're small. Nah. Not when they're small. Look about the size of baseballs. Keep on watching them. Seems someone usually presses a button on them to grow them. Which, for something that looks metal like that... I don't know how that would physically be possible. Definitely raises a lot of questions to do with literal size. There's a halfway point. Okay. Hmm. Now, I'm not sure where the secret exit would be. I certainly hope it's not in the pipe, because I would have guessed somewhere over there. I'd even guess up here, but I don't know why. No. I've just got some guts, okay? Nope, not there either. Ugh. Okay. Yes, I get it, there's a challenge to that. You don't need to rub it in my face like that. It seems almost mandatory to take a hit there. Which would be a real problem if you were small. If you actually get hit by that fire, the whole thing spreads at once, instead of one at a time from the center. Now I'm not sure where the secret exit could be. Although I could probably figure out some point. Yeah, check this out. Dude. Crazy. Particularly if you're big. The return of the SMB2 music. And I don't know if I just killed a mole there or something else. 
but that's our secret exit. Yoshi's Villa. Uh, okay. XI. But how am I supposed to see what's in that message block? Oh well. Into the Saffron Castle. The Adventures of Link Returns. In this castle, apparently. However, I'm not that familiar with the Zelda series. More of a Mario person. Mario. A little bit of Mega Man. A little Kirby. Oddly enough, not that much Zelda. I don't know why. Which is kind of odd, because I have both the NES cartridges at, at my house, so... You'd think I'd be more familiar with them, but apparently not. Uh, there's a castle with a halfway point. Good thing. And hopefully no smashing at me. Unfortunately, we cannot get that mushroom because we pressed the switch. How mean. Really mean indeed. I don't really need that, though. I even made that. So, we got normal Iggy, except we got two extra Pudabos, just like in TSRPR. Odd. Somehow I don't think we're going to get all of the bosses, all the seven Koopa bosses. I do know that we're gonna get Bowser, which... Instead of giving you a mushroom, we'll throw another bowling ball at you. Or whatever. After all, this princess kidnapping was an act of the Bowser too. The adventure of Luigi still began. Well, what kind of enemy and a continent wait from now on as expected? Hooray for English. So... That means next time... We go into the tower to the garden.